Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to add Shopify products to any website. And this is a buy button tutorial showing you exactly how to utilize the Shopify buy button to link and share and help sell your products on more different places with utilizing that buy button channel built by Shopify. And this is a completely free app developed directly by Shopify so that you can get your Shopify products out there and located in more places such as maybe an external website, really placing it anywhere that you want with a simple bit of code. So that's gonna be showing you here in today's video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into things. So first things first, you're gonna wanna make sure that you of course have been logged into your Shopify store. Next, you're gonna come up here to the search bar and search for buy button. Now you can either do this and it will come up with the buy button channel. Now this, you can either click this link here. I will also leave a link to this in the video description. This is going to take you, uh, when you click this link, it will take you right over to the Shopify app store. So again, you will need to be logged into your Shopify store. Uh, and this is the buy button channel. Again, this is a free app, as you can see here, free app developed directly by Shopify. So you can trust it. And this is essentially the Shopify buy button. So what this allows you to do uh, is it allows you to create a buy button for any product or collection. As you can see here, uh, you can build out a product buy button or a collection buy button as well. Uh, and this allows you to create those fast and easy checkout links to promote products or collections. And this can also be done not only just on your own Shopify store, because you can just do that as well. Um, or you can also create these buy buttons for uh, adding it to any other website. So any website you have, whether it be like WordPress, Wix, uh, Squarespace, whatever it may be, you can also add it. Uh, to that website or blog and you can use the buy button editor which I'm going to be showing you how to do uh, to match the overall styling color of your brand and then you'll just copy and paste that HTML code to the platform that you want. So again this is great if you want to be promoting maybe you have your Shopify store with all of your different e-commerce products it's kind of on like that separate site but you still want to promote and link to your products utilizing the buy button can be a great way to do that because people and customers can check out directly on that page as well uh, and this does create a separate sales channel in your overall analytics so you can see how well it is doing as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and actually install the app. So all you have to do is click this big black button there uh, and then it will bring you over automatically right into your Shopify store admin. Uh, again, you need to be logged in and then it will bring you here to the buy button and boom. So now we have installed the app and as you can see here, create a buy button for a website or blog, sell your products online and let customers check out right away. So this is a great way. And all you have to do is click that create a buy button. So what type of buy button would you like to create? So we're gonna create a collection or a product buy button to start. And then I'll also be showing you what the collection buy button looks like as well. So we're gonna start with the product buy button and we're going to go ahead and do, uh, let's go ahead and do the jeans just cause the jeans are pretty simple. <laughs> uh, so we selected the jeans. As you can see here, this is what the buy button looks like by default. You're gonna have an add to cart and you're gonna have the little cart icon in the right hand side. And you can see what it looks like on mobile. Uh, as you can see, this one doesn't really look too different on mobile. You also have desktop and then full width. So you can kind of play around with that there if you want. Uh, in terms of the layout style, you can select between basic. So this would be the uh, basic look, which does not actually give you an image. You have classic and full view. Uh, so full view would allow you to then filter through multiple images if your product has multiple images. In this example, this product just has the one uh, image of the jeans. So we're just gonna leave it like that. We're gonna go back to the classic view. So you have those couple options. You also have the action when people click it. So when people click this add to cart button, uh, you can either take them to add the product to cart. So if we click that, um, you can see that the product was added to cart and I get that my camera is covering a little bit of the checkout, but you can see that the, the jeans are added to the cart. Um, so you can either then select one, two, you also have a quantity selector here, so you can do that too. Um, and then you can also, instead you could direct people to check out. So it would be a buy now button. Technically, uh, you could leave it as an add to cart button or just a buy now direct to checkout button. Um, so if they click this here, it will then populate with a checkout cart, as you can see here, um, with the overall order summary. So it will automatically pop up with the cart, with the product in the cart. 
uh, as well if you just want to link people directly to the checkout with technically a true buy now button. Uh, that's essentially what that would do if you selected that option there. Um, and customers, you know, just like any other regular checkout, they can go ahead and enter discount codes, enter their details and everything like that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and close out of that checkout. Or you can also open the product details so you can select it to be view product. And that will then just pop up this extra menu here, which gives additional product details. If you have like a product description or more images that you would like them to click through, they can click through the additional images here um, for the specific product that you have. Um, if you're opening the product details. So we're gonna leave it on add to cart. Uh, just to keep it simple on the button style. This is where you can select the, the overall like button corners You can um, make it rounded if you would like you can change the width You can make it like a much larger button You can also change the overall background color so you can enter in whatever color you want here if you want to be nice and red you know add to cart or you can uh, Play around with this maybe make it like an orangey color uh, Really, I would just recommend matching like your overall brand colors or something like that uh, you can kind of go with this nice little blue, uh, you know, I prefer something maybe a little bit more vibrant in my opinion, um, or maybe even something, I don't know, orange is, orange is kind of cool, kind of bright. Um, so it depends, obviously you just pick your color, um, whatever matches your brand. We're just going to go with a blue, I guess, for this example here. Uh, and you can change the button text color too. So if you want it to be like crazy you could do that that uh, it looks kind of wild to me i'm just gonna leave it on white uh, but you can change the button text color too so you can invert the colors there as well uh, and you can select the overall font so if you kind of want to make the font look a little bit more like your brand uh, maybe this one's a little bit different um, so you can also play around with the fonts depending um, on what you want you do have to choose from these fonts that are in here these are going to be the fonts that you typically just see in your shopify store um, options. So you do have actually, honestly, quite a bit of different fonts to choose from. As you can see, that Montserrat kind of gets cut off a little bit. Uh, so maybe not the best option there. Um, you know, you have quite a wide variety here in terms of options. Uh, you could do Roboto, um, bolded. Uh, you know. You can select something that kind of matches your brand. We're, we're gonna stick with this one here. Um, so that's the overall button style. Uh, you can also select the layout. So you can make the image size medium, large. This is obviously quite ridiculously large because it's a long image. You can make it small. Uh, you can also show the additional product images here if you'd like to do that. Um, you can change the alignment if you want to do that here too. So you really have a lot of options here, honestly. Uh, you can even change the add to cart button text if you want. You can show the quantity selector there um, if you want people to be able to do that. I see the quantity selector looks a little odd in that case. Um, you can change the product title colors. Uh, you can change the price colors, not going to be editing that here, but you can also change that as well if you like to. You can change the product title, font. Um, so I don't know how it looks kind of cool, uh, Quantico. Um, so it kind of looks like techie. Um, so you can do that there too. If you want to change the size, you can make the product title a little bit bigger. Uh, the price a little bit larger too. If you want to make it more obvious, like bigger pricing, I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, obviously as to what you might want to do with, uh, these couple settings here. Uh, let's go ahead and leave it on that. It's a little bit easier to read. Uh, so you also have that that you can change. You can also change the shopping cart. So you can edit the heading. You can edit the subtotal, add an order note field. So this is like little extra instructions for the person selling. So you can add that in here too. Um, and you can change all this text if you really want to customize it a lot. Um, so you do have a lot of options here as far as what you want to do. You also can have it redirect the same tab or open that pop-up window like I showed you before with the checkout cart. Um, so you have that option there too. Um, we're just going to go ahead and click next because that's essentially all that we need to edit here for this product. And so this is where it brings you to the actual buy button code. Now, this is the code um, that you will be copying and pasting and adding to wherever you want this buy button to appear. Now, you can create new buy buttons for every different product you have in your Shopify store. Um, you can also quickly and easily, you know, 
watch these tutorials here on how to add to WordPress, Squarespace, or Wix. Those are you know some of the popular examples where people use buy buttons. But all you need to do is just copy this code here. Uh, and then I'm gonna be showing you what that looks like displaying it live as well. Uh, and this will just paste into the HTML editor on wherever you want to display this code. Now you can also opt to keep customizing it, but we've got it customized enough. We're gonna go ahead and copy the code. Now I'm going to be pasting this on a WordPress site here uh, for this example. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and type in HTML. So forward slash custom HTML. This is um, what I would do for a WordPress site just to add in the HTML block. Um, this might look a little bit differently depending on what type of site you're using. This is again, just a WordPress site. Um, and we paste in that code there. And we're gonna add a title to this as like test uh, blog post. So you can then feel free to add in, you know, other information as well. So if you want to add in, you know, add something else before, yes, this is a blog post with lots of good information. So if you want to add this to your, like your, your, uh, uh, informations, I guess, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, test, Test, test. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click save just so you can get an idea of what it would look like. And we're going to go ahead and open this test blog post. Um, and then boom, as you can see here, we now have the actual um, clickable uh, buy button with the image of the product added to this blog post. So you can, and this is just a WordPress site. So if you have any other kind of um, blog posts or, or blog where you want to be promoting your Shopify products, this is a great way to do it. Uh, with this buy button, all you have to do is then click add to cart and it will add and create a cart live on like a WordPress site from this Shopify thing. And then you can go ahead and click the checkout and then it will populate here um, with the checkout. It is just essentially a blue checkout button. I get my cameras kind of covering that. Um, but then it will bring you to the regular Shopify checkout, pop out, and people will be able to do this um, live. So that's how you go about adding this buy button to your Shopify store. Uh, so that's what it looks like with the products. If you're going to be adding these again, you can have multiple of these. You just copy paste that code. If you want it to appear anywhere else, um, you know, if you also wanted to add it to your Shopify store, you can do that as well. I'm going to be showing you now um, how to create one with the collection. So as you see here, we already have the product one added uh, inside the uh, buy button app. We're going to go ahead and create a new one uh, under the collection buy button. So we're going to go ahead and create a collection buy button. We're just going to go ahead and select clothing because I know that there are four products in there. Um, so as you can see here, now we have the four products. Now this one obviously is out of stock. So, um, but it is good to show you what a variant select selector would look like. So you have small, medium, large XL, um, and you have these four different products on this collection. So this can be another great way as well. If you want to create these quick little collections, uh, to promote inside blog posts or things like that, you can also do that there as well. And you have all the same settings, essentially add products, cart, direct people directly to checkout. If you want it to be a buy now button. Um, you have that there as an option as well. Again, pretty straightforward. We're just going to go ahead and copy that code. Going to go ahead and add another uh, custom HTML. I'll also be showing you what it looks like on Shopify as well if you're going to be um, adding things in differently. So we're going to go ahead and click save. And then we reload the blog post. And as you can see here now, we have the four different products. Now, depending on the overall page width, things might look a little janky. Uh, depending on the overall page width, you will need to kind of play around with how many products you want to feature uh, inside this function here. If you want to keep customizing it, you know, maybe change the button layout, you know, maybe switch it to a collection with only two products. That might be something, you know, if you just want to, you can also go in and just create and add new collections for these specifically. Um, if you just want to have like less it, potential issues with multiple different products kind of getting cut off and things like that. So I'd recommend playing around with it quite a bit just to get it exactly how you want it. But that's essentially what it looks like. You've got all the different products with the buy now buttons. If they go ahead and click it, it will automatically populate with that checkout. Um, for any of these products, we're going to go ahead and test the shirt since we already have tested the jeans. Um, and as you can see here, we have the shirt and it's automatically added to the cart. 
um, from clicking that buy now button. Alternatively, this, so this is essentially what it looks like if you add it to any other website, like a WordPress website or something like that. Uh, you can also utilize this buy button functionality just to add it to your Shopify uh, store as well. So we're gonna go ahead and change this back to the watches uh, collection, direct to checkout, and we're going to go ahead and we're gonna click next. We're gonna copy this code here. So now that we've got the code copied, we're gonna go ahead and exit out of the buy button creator. Um, so we have the buy button creator uh, with the couple that we've we've made already. And then if you wanted to add this to other parts of your Shopify store, you can do this via the pages if you want to do it that way. So you can go to online store, uh, you can go to pages. Maybe if you've added a couple pages that you wanted to link to certain products on here, um, you can do that here as well. Maybe if you have like uh, an about us page or something, you could go ahead and also link to those products even um, within your about us page. Um, so you could do something like that. And if you wanted to do that here, you just click on the specific page you've created uh, and you're just going to add it in here uh, to the page. We're gonna go ahead and click enter and, and then we're just gonna go ahead and you can click show HTML too. That might be a good way to go about doing it. Um, I think it should work if we just control V, we go ahead and paste it. We click save and we go ahead and refresh it. Okay, so you do need to click show HTML if you want to show properly. Otherwise, it is just going to be entered in as plain text. So we're gonna go ahead and click show HTML. Let's just go ahead and add it here um, at the top actually. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that here. Click save and then it should load in. <laughs> Okay, now here we go. So it is now finally loaded. So you do just click the show editor, bring up the HTML editor, and then it will then populate from the link, as you can see here. So now we've added these here. So really, you know, you can customize it however you want in terms of the buy button editor. You can, you know, add these to other pages in your Shopify store too, if you just want easy you know, buy now buttons to add to other pages in your Shopify store, you know, outside of what you would traditionally do with the sections editor or things like that too. So you can add this to content pages, maybe even blog posts within your own Shopify store too as well, or alternatively on other websites such as like your WordPress site. Uh, so guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Uh, again, I will leave links down below in the video description to the buy button channel as well um, to get help you get started with the buy button again. And if you don't already have a Shopify store, why are you watching this video now? You can just go ahead and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brennavaleski.com forward slash Shopify. It'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with a Shopify free trial. Again, that's that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this tutorial helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that's all for today's video. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.